Hi, this is Steve, V6WZ, up at my remote uh, QTH on a beautiful fall day. The leaves are starting to, uh, to change. You know, I was watching my videos the other day and uh, I realized um, uh, some time ago I had made a video on my nine circle receiver array, but it, it's pretty horrible. I made it with a GoPro and it's really shaky. So I thought I'd make another one and uh, provide some new information. I've made a few changes to the array. Uh, I'm just now panning over to the uh, transmit location the central tower with the uh, Yagi on top, that's uh, shunt fed for 160 meters. So that's the transmit antenna. And it, it's also um, acting together with the, that antenna are some parasitic elements. Uh, there's two parasitic elements that uh, provide uh, directivity and gain to both Oceania, Europe and South America and Japan. But um, I'm just gonna pan now across here to the nine circle array and it's right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the elements from here. They're, they're small, uh, 20, 25 foot high uh, vertical elements. But you know, I measured this today and I was actually surprised, I'd never really measured it, but I'm only 80 feet uh, from the closest uh, parasitic. So it's very close to the uh, transmit array. Uh, but what I do do is uh, detune um, both the parasitic elements as well as the shunt fed tower on receive. And I've had no trouble uh, at all um, in terms of uh, achieving a, a, a good receive pattern. The antenna is very effective. This is the nine circle array, um, originally um, produced and marketed through DX Engineering and designed and marketed with the YCC uh, Club, the Yankee Contest Clipper Club. And as I say, John, designed by John, W1 Fox Victor. Uh, it's a, it, it's called a nine circle, but um, it's, uh, uh, there are nine verticals that are surrounding a central uh, vertical. There, uh, sorry, there's eight verticals surrounding a central ninth vertical. And the way the antenna works is quite simple. At any one time, three of the elements are phased together to provide a, a directive pattern. In fact, um, I'm looking right now at one of the closest elements here. If you can see in the background, there's uh, the central element and then even further behind is a third. And so there, they're all lined up right now. In fact, I'd be looking at Oceania at this point and behind me would be, uh, would be Europe. As I said, each element is basically just a vertical aluminum tubing whip uh, made out of uh, telescopic uh, uh, drawn uh, tubing. I just hose clamp together, I think about 25 feet high. I used a fiberglass insulator to um, split the element where the high impedance amplifier is mounted. Uh, this is an op amp based high impedance amplifier. Um, I've redesigned this amplifier from that originally supplied by DX Engineering. I've included a relay um, uh, at, the, at the antenna terminals to um, try and avoid any uh, damage from either lightning, st uh, wind static or uh, TX overload. Uh, I've got another video about that if you're interested. So uh, out of the amplifier goes the RG6 coax and there's uh, equal length coax uh, from each of the uh, eight verticals uh, surrounding the central vertical and those coax lines are all trenched and go to the um, central uh, feed box which is where we have the combiner box and the combiner box is what will phase these elements together to uh, to make the pattern. This is the central element and located beside the central element is the combiner box. What I did was I just I just bought a you know, a $10 plastic storage bin. That's what I've used and I screwed it to a uh, four by four post. I'll screw the lid shut. I've unscrewed it right now, but um, normally I screw it shut. Probably gonna paint this too, just to protect it from UV. Or... Anyway, inside um, there's the combiner box and the white box where each of the individual elements come in and are, as I say, combined and um, phased together with the very precise phasing to provide the directive pattern. And there are some delay lines which are used to uh, provide that uh, proper phasing. I've contained them all in here. Each, um, each vertical line from each vertical has a uh, ferrite, um, a large type 31 clamp-on ferrite choke to uh, eliminate, it, eliminate any common mode noise um, upsetting the pattern. And uh, uh, the output from the array is very low amplitude, so I've got a high impedance amplifier. This is the amplifier uh, by Hi Z uh, Systems. I think it's a 2N5109 type amplifier. And uh, that's it. And, and so from here, the feed line is uh, trenched. Uh, back to the uh, back to the shack. I use a uh, large diameter uh, CATV uh, coax. Anyway, that's the system. Pretty uh, pretty simple. And I must say, uh, having used this now for two years, 
uh, I always receive on 160 meters with this array in diversity in one ear and I have the beverages in the other ear. So I'm always listening um, in diversity. My uh, experience has been that most of the time this array is equal to my beverages, um, at least as well as one can determine. The occasions when there are very, very weak ones, uh, weak, say, Europe or Oceania that's uh, just bubbling, barely at the noise where you can hardly hear it, at those times, it's, uh, I might be hearing better in my right ear, especially if I'm using one of the phased uh, broadside beverage pairs, which would make sense since you know, they might have 2 dB uh, or so of RDF improvement over this, which isn't a lot, uh, which would be why only when the signals are very, very weak would I notice any slight difference. They're a great array. I'd highly recommend them. You know, these kind of short vertical high impedance antennas are, I'd like to call them, they're a more civilized antenna than a beverage. Beverages are easy to build in the sense that they it's hard to wreck them. I mean, they usually want to perform and will perform, but they're a lot of work, a lot of maintenance, and um, they're not pretty, whereas uh, a short, high impedance um, vertical array like this, and there's different types, you know, it's a lot easier to work on. I just come out here and it's a lot simpler. So, so I, I consider it a more of a civilized receive antenna. 73, it's Steve, B6WZ.